Welcome to this lesson on compound interest. I've already done a video for simple interest, so go and check that one out as well. But in this lesson, we will look at an increase and a decrease for compound interest. And at the end of it, we'll look at an exam question like this. So stay tuned. Let's have a look at our first question. You invest 680 pounds at two and a half percent annual compound interest. So you're paid two and a half percent compound interest on your principal amount, your original amount, which is 680. How much will you have after four years? Now, one of the formulas I use all the time is original amount times by the multiplier equals new amount, which you've seen previously. All we are going to do is just make a slight adjustment to our multiplier by adding a power. So it looks like this. So original amount times by the multiplier to the power of n. Now this value of n can be the number of days, the number of weeks, the number of months, the number of years. It, it doesn't matter, okay? So in this case, it's the number of years it's gonna serve us as, all right? And the rest of this equation is equal to the new amount. So let's begin. What is our original amount? What is our principal amount? The amount that we put into the savings account at the beginning. It is 680. So 680 will go there. Times by our multiplier. Now, the multiplier is going to be 2.5% added to 100%, which gives us 102.5%. So the multiplier would be 1.025. So 1.025 and to the power of n. Now, n is four years. So to the power of four, and now we'll just get our calculator and we'll stick this straight into our calculator. Let's just put a bracket around that just to make it stand out. Okay, so we're gonna do 680 times by 1.025 to the power of four. And that gives us, now on the calculator, I've got 750, and remember this is in pounds, so 750.5927656. Now, because it's money, you have to round this to two decimal places, okay? So five, nine will be our two decimal places. So 750 pounds, 59 pence. So this is how much we will have at the end of four years. So as you can see, we can just do one line and straight away we can get the answer. Using this power is quite handy because otherwise what we'll have to do is we'll find the amount after the end of one year, collect it, add it on to our original amount and then do uh, another uh, 1.025 of that amount, et cetera, et cetera. And we have to keep adding it like that. But this way, one line gets you the answer straight away. Now, this next question is gonna be quite interesting for many of you because I'm sure a lot of you would be buying cars. And the price of cars depreciates as the years go by, unless you've got those nice classic ones. So you buy a brand new car for 23,000 pounds and the car depreciates. Now the meaning of the word depreciates is something that might be new to you, okay? Depreciates simply means decreases, goes down in value, all right? So the car depreciates in value each year by 20%, okay? And this was our original amount. What is the value of the car after three years. So we've highlighted all the key points of this question. Something that I want you to start getting into the habit of doing. All right, so let's go back to our formula. Uh, original amount times by the multiplier. So the original amount is going to be 23,000. And we're going to times this by our multiplier. So what is our multiplier? If the car is depreciating, decreasing by 20% each year, so our multiplier is gonna look like this, 100 minus 20, which is 80%. So the multiplier would be 0 0.8 because we divide that by 100, okay? So our multiplier is 0 0.8, so 0 0.8. You can write um, 0 0.80 here, but it's not really necessary because um, after this, we can have as many zeros. 0 0.8 is the same as 0 0.80 anyway. Okay, but if you want to write a zero there, no problem, go ahead and do it. Right, so now, how long is this? This is compound interest, so every year it will happen, it will just keep depreciating by 20% on the current value of the car, okay? So we will add to the power, to the power of three here, all right? So, again, reach for your calculators and stick this straight into that calculator, one line, one answer. And that gives us, oh, you're probably not gonna be happy with this amount. So don't hold on to your cars for too long, especially when you buy it brand new, okay? Um, 
11,776 pounds. Not even any extra pennies. That's all you're going to get for your new car. Anyhow, well, that's what the price of the car is after three years after depreciating by 20%. Now that you've done a compound interest where you have an increase and a decrease, let's have a look at another interesting question to finish off this lesson. Find the final value of an investment of 1,000 pounds that grows by 5% per annum for the first two years, but then depreciates at a rate of 2% per annum for the next three years. So what does this mean? You put £1,000 into a savings account or some sort of investment that you've done and it grows, it grows, it grows by 5% every single year for two years. However, after that, for some reason, it starts depreciating, it starts going down, decreasing in value at a rate of 2% per year for the next three years. So let's work this out. Now, I am going to underline the key parts of this question. So this is £1,000, our principal amount, our original amount. And we are told that it grows. Grows means to increase. It increases by 5% per annum for the first two years. So let's write this down. So 5% increase. So let's write plus 5% for two years. And then what happens? It depreciates at a rate of 2% per annum for the next three years. So it depreciates by 2% per annum for the next three years. So that's what we know so far. And of course, our principal amount is 1,000. Right, so let's calculate this. So 5% for the first two years, that's going to, what's the multiplier going to be? It's going to be 100 plus the 5%, which is 105. And then we divide it by 100. So we get 1.05. So the multiplier is going to be 1.05. And the power is going to be to the power of 2 years. So to the power of 2. So if we put this into our calculator, 1,000 times by 1.05 to the power of 2, that gives us 1,102 pounds and 50 pence. Now, notice on your calculator, you probably got 1102 0.5, you can't write 0.5, you should write two two decimal places. So remember to do that by adding that zero there. All right, so let's go on to this now. Now, what is going to be our original amount now? Okay, so when we do this calculation, our original amount isn't going to be this anymore. Remember, we've got this at the end of two years. So this is now going to become our original amount for the next three years with this new decrease that we are going to be facing. So we are going to do 1,102 pounds and 50 pence times by a new multiplier. Now this time we are having a depreciation. So it's going to go down by 2%. So we're going to do 100 minus 2, which is 98%. And we make the 98% into a multiplier by dividing by 100. So we get 0 0.98. And what's the power going to be? The power is going to be three years. So it's going to be 0 0.98 to the power of three. Once again, go into your calculators. And our final answer for this, I'll just write it down here because I'm running out of space here, is 1,037 pounds, 0.66418. So if you round this appropriately to two decimal places, you get 0.66. So this is the value of your investment after the first two years where you were enjoying 5% per annum. And then for the next three years, you are suffering a loss of 2%. So after investing £1,000 into your account, at the end of five years, you have £1,037.66. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to press that bell notification as well, so that you can be notified when new videos are released. See you in the next lesson.